Good morning students. In the previous video, we had seen about the introduction of Laplace transform and few problems based on the Laplace transform there. Now we will see the Laplace transform properties. So your first property is your linear pro linearity property. So the linearity property is nothing but your it is the transform of the finite sum of the time functions there is going to be the sum of the Laplace transform of the individual functions. So if I am going to take a time function as f1 of t, f2 of t, so till f1 of t, the Laplace transform of this finite sum of time functions is, uh, is equivalent to your Laplace transform of the individual functions there. So Laplace transform of f1 of t plus f2 of t till f1 of t is equivalent to f1 of s plus f2 of s till f1 of s there. So now we are going to have your Laplace transform of this function is going to be now you substitute this is your function your f of t we can take this whole function as your f of t there this is your f of t so a general expression for laplace transform is 0 minus 0 to infinity f of t into e power minus st into dt so f of t is nothing but here f1 of t plus f2 of t till fn of t there so that is into e power minus st so if i now separate it out your first solution will be integral 0 to infinity f1 of t into e power minus st dt plus integral 0 to infinity f of f2 of t e power minus st into dt like this I will get the separate functions there. So here the separate functions I can write it as like this. So integral 0 minus to infinity f1 of t e power minus st into dt plus integral 0 minus to infinity f2 of t into e power minus st into dt till 0 minus 2 infinity f1 of t dt in, in t into e power minus st dt. So this is nothing but f1 of s. This exp expression is nothing but f2 of s. This expression is going to be fn of s there. So you can see that that is equal to f1 of s plus f2 of s plus fn of s. So this property is called as the linearity property. So Laplace transform of, so suppose if the time function is going to be multiplied by a constant a1 and in a1, a2 like that till an. So we can write the Laplace transform of a1 into f1 of t plus a2 into f2 of t plus an into f1 of t is equal to a1 into f1 of s plus a2 into f2 of s plus an into fn of s. So next is we are going to see the scaling theorem. So scaling theorem is, so I want to have a signal. So I want to increase the amplitude of the signal by some value or I want to decrease the amplitude of the signal by some value. I will be using a scaling factor there. So that is going to be called as your scaling theorem. So that uh, based on that scaling factor, scaling theorem is going to be predicted. So suppose if I am going to take the constant k is going to be a constant, then the Laplace transform of a constant is going to be k into f of t or it can be given as k times the Laplace transform of your f of t. So Laplace transform of k into f of t is nothing but k is a constant. So that means that Laplace transform of f of t is nothing but k into f of s. So here your Laplace transform of k into f of t can be written as integral 0 to infinity k into f of t e power minus st into dt. So here k if I am going to take it outside the integral 0 to infinity f of t into e power minus st. So we know that this expression is going to be your Laplace transform expression. So we can write it as k into f of s. So here we are writing it as k into f of s there. So here Next property is your real differentiation or differentiation in time domain. So when I am going to differentiate a signal, what is going to be the Laplace transform of that signal we are going to see here. So Laplace transform of df of t by dt is equal to s into f of s minus f of 0 minus. So here now we are going to have this differential equation and we are going to uh, see what is going to be the real differentiation there. So here we have explained that out. So here we have written that the Laplace transform of df of t by dt is equal to s into f of s minus f of 0 minus there. Where f of 0 minus is going to indicate the value of f of t at t is equal to 0 minus condition there. That is just before the instant at t is equal to 0. 
So proof is a Laplace transform of I can write df of t by dt as f dash of t. So Laplace transform of f dash of t is equivalent to your e power minus st integral 0 to infinity f dash of t into dt. So minus integral 0 minus to infinity. So minus s into e power minus st integral of f dash of t dt. So here we are going to have this expression there. So here this is nothing but e power minus st into f of t is going to be taken. So a differentiation and integration will get cancelled out and we write it as just f of t there. So e power minus st into f of t, your limits are going to be 0 to infinity plus your, uh, this expression is going to be, yes we are going to take it out, integral 0 minus to infinity f of t. So this I can take it as a f of t into e power minus st into dt. So here if I am going to substitute the limits, it is e power minus infinity. So e power minus infinity is nothing but 0. So minus uh, 1 e power 0, 0 is going to be 1. So that is nothing but your f of t. So here we are going to have your f of 0. So f of 0 minus is going to be the condition there. Plus s into this expression is nothing but your f of s expression. So I can write it as your s into f of s minus f of 0 minus that. So that is what we are writing it here. So e power minus st as I said it is going to be 0 as t tends to infinity and e power minus infinity is also 0 and e power 0 is going to be 1. So we can write a Laplace transform of f of t is going to be e power minus infinity into f of t e power 0 uh, in minus plus s integral of 0 minus to infinity f of t e power minus st into dt there. So here we are going to have integral 0 to infinity f of t e power minus st into dt is f of s. So here your Laplace transform of f dash of t is nothing but s into f of s minus f of 0 minus there. So this is your for your one order there. So second order if I am going to take your nth order means Laplace transform of dn of f of t by dt of n is equal to s power n into f of s minus s power n minus 1 into f of s 0 s power uh, f of 0 minus minus s power n minus 2 into f of z, f dash of 0 minus so like that it is going to go till minus of f of n minus 1 of 0 dash so here we write your n is equal to 2 we write it as your laplace transform of d square f of t by dt square so if we substitute in the formula n is equal to 2 it is going to be s square into f of s minus s into f of 0 minus minus f dash of 0 minus there. So for n is equal to 3, we see that Laplace transform of d cube of f of t by dt cube is equal to s cube into your f of s minus s square into f of 0 minus minus s into f dash of 0 minus of f double dash of 0 minus. So it is going to transform a time differential equation that is your differential time domain equation to a simple algebraic equation where along with your initial conditions there. So this is nothing but a time domain equation. We are going to convert it into a frequency domain equation in terms of S and it is going to be an al simple algebraic ex equations along with the initial conditions also taken into considerations there. So next is your real integration. So real integration is nothing but your Laplace transform of integral 0 to t f of t dt. So if I integrate this, it is going to be your f of s divided by s. So your Laplace transform of integral 0 to t f of t dt is equivalent to your term if I am going to substitute your integral 0 to infinity the e power minus st into. So what is the function is integral 0 to t f of t dt into dt there. So here your Laplace transform of integral 0 to t f of t dt is equivalent to if I am going to write your uh, integration by parts. So integration by parts is you are going to have your u to be your integral 0 to uh, 0 minus to t f of t dt there. So then in that case du is going to be just your f of t alone. So here uh, we are going to have your uh, v, dv is going to be e power minus st into dt. So here we are going to apply your integration by parts formula and we are going to get it as 
e power minus s t divided by minus s integral 0 minus 2 t f of t dt minus integral 0 minus 2 infinity e power minus s t by minus s into f of t dt then. So if I am going to substitute the limits e power minus a t. So here you are going to have e power minus a t tends to 0, s t tends to 0 as t tends to infinity there. So if this is your infinity limits then in that case this will become 0 there. And integral 0 minus to t f of t dt is going to be 0 because the limit from a negative this one t tends to infinity. So t tends to infinity means your term is going to become 0 there. So next is your Laplace transform of integral 0 minus to t f of t dt is equal to if I am substituting the limits yeah, first uh, the upper limit it is going to be 0 as t tends to infinity and your uh, plus 1 by s integral of 0 minus to infinity e f of t into e power minus s t dt so this is nothing but your f of s function there so I can write it as yeah, your Laplace transform of 0 minus 2 t f of t dt is equal to 1 by s into f of s so your Laplace transform of multiple integral 0 to t1, 0 to t2 till 0 to tn f of t into dt1, dt2, dtn we can write as f of s divided by s power n. So next one is differentiation by s. So differentiation by s is if f of s is going to be the Laplace transform of your f of t then the differentiation by s is going to be in the complex frequency domain corresponds to multiplication by t in the time domain. So here in this case you are going to have the differential value, differential function in the complex domain and it corresponds to the multiplication of a in time domain there, multi t in time domain. So we can write Laplace transform of t into f of t is equal to minus of d into f of s by ds. So here your proof is f of s is equal to integral 0 minus to infinity f of t into e power minus s t dt. So d f of s by d s is equal to integral 0 minus to infinity f of t into d of d by d s into e power minus s t into dt. So that is equal to integral 0 minus to infinity f of t. So differentiation of e power minus s t is going to be minus t into e power minus s t into dt. So I can write this expression as minus integral 0 minus to infinity t into f of t into e power minus s t dt. So if I am going to separate the integral limits it is going to be your uh, 0 minus t into f of t e power minus s t into dt. That I can write it as minus Laplace transform of t into f of t. So the next uh, property is going to be your your yeah, next property is going to be a complex translation. So complex translation is f of s minus a I can write it as Laplace transform of shifted by a value. So it is e power a t into f of t where a is a complex number there. So next property is your real translation property or your shifting theorem there. So shifting theorem is Laplace transform of f of t minus t is equal to your e power minus t s into f of s. So initial value theorem is your f of 0 plus is equal to limit t tends to 0 plus f of t is equal to limit s tends to infinity s into f of s. So initial value is f of 0 plus. So t is equal to 0 plus there. So here that is limit s tends to infinity s into f of s there. So the only restriction is your f of t must be a continuous or at the most except discontinuity at t is equal to 0. Next is your final value theorem. So final value theorem is your limit t tends to infinity f of t is equal to limit s tends to 0 your s into f of s. So here in this case your, uh, your limit is going to the only restriction is the roots of the denominator polynomial of f of s that is the poles of f of s should be negative or it should be zero real parts there. So here are transform parts. So if I'm going to take the La transform Laplace transform of an impulse function is going to be one. If a unit step function u of t means one by s 
e power minus a t into u of t means 1 by s plus a t into u of t means 1 by s square. You should know this formula is there. So t power n into u of t is equal to n factorial divided by s power n plus 1. So t into e power minus a t is equal to 1 by s plus a the whole square. t power n into e power minus a t is nothing but n factorial divided by s plus a into n power n plus 1. So sin omega t is nothing but omega by s i square plus omega square. Cos omega t is nothing but s by s square plus omega square. So next transform for us e power minus a t into sin omega t is equal to omega divided by s plus a the whole square plus omega square. So e power minus a t into cos omega t is nothing but s plus a divided by s plus a the whole square plus omega square. So next is sin omega t plus theta is equal to s into sin theta plus omega into cos theta divided by s square plus omega square. Cos of omega t plus theta is s into cos theta minus omega sin theta divided by s square plus omega square. So these are the transform properties. So f of t minus t naught into u of t minus t naught that is the waveform is going to be shifted by a value t naught where t naught is going to be greater than or equal to 0, we can write it as e power minus t naught into s into f of s, time shifting property. Next is f of t into u of t minus t naught, that is t is greater than or equal to 0 means it is shifted by, the unit step function is shifted by t naught value. So we can write it as e power minus t naught into s, Laplace transform of yeah, f of t plus t naught. Next is e power minus a t into f of t is nothing but f of s plus a. Next is d f of t by dt. So d f of t by dt is nothing but s into f of s minus f of 0 minus. It is your time differentiation function there. So next is your d power n of f of t by dt of n is s power n into f of s minus s power n minus 1 into f of 0 minus s power n minus 2 into f dash of 0 till s power 0 into f of n minus 1 into f of 0 there. So t into f of t is nothing but minus d f of s by ds in frequency differentiation. So next term is your integral 0 to t f of t into dt. So this I can write it as 1 by s into f of s the time integration. So next property is f1 of t into f2 of t is a convolution property. f1 of t convoluted with f2 of t we write it as f1 of multiplication frequency domain that is f1 of s into f2 of s. Next is your ft of t by t. So integration here in this case integral 0 to s to infinity f of s into ds that is your frequency integration. So next is scaling. Scaling is your f of a t where a greater than or equal to 0. Your scaling function is going to be 1 by s into f of s by a is going to be the scaling factor there. Next is f of 0 plus. So f of 0 plus is nothing but a limit distance to infinity s into f of s. That is your initial value. Next is f of infinity. f of infinity means final value. So final value is nothing but your limit distance to 0 s into f of s. That is your time differentiation function. Next is f of t is equal to f of t plus n t that is a periodic function there. So when it is a periodic function I can write the expression as 1 by 1 minus e power minus t s into f1 of s. So this derivation we will see it in, we'll be seeing it in the next uh, videos. So where n is equal to 1 to 2 where f1 of s is equal to integral 0 minus 2 t f of t e power minus s t into d t.